something's gonna happen. Guys, anything, anyone want to do something crazy? Anyone. Any of, any of the people in this van, are you well, I mean, potentially... I do something crazy. Are you gonna do something crazy? Yeah. Are you potentially the love of my life? Maybe. Hello one and all. My show is called Joel Domit. It's my name, Conquer. It's at nine o'clock at the counting house in the ballroom and it is free of charge. Excellent. No fee. What a selling point. That was a great pitch for you. Like that? But yeah, that's right? good. That was strong. I felt like it was great. Right. And um, how's your fringe festival been going so far? It's been going pretty sweetly. It's been going pretty sweet. Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Um, um create creating the, the laughters. Wow, well, that's yeah, that's good. Really enjoying my show actually. I really like it. I'm very proud of it. And uh, it takes a long time, doesn't it, to put it all together. Um, and what's the subject of your show? It's called Conquer. It's called Conquer. It's about me trying to find a lady who I saw on the tube in London and then she left. Um, they do leave I'm the tube. I'm a coward, yeah. And she left and I was like, oh well, that's, that's that. that lady's gone. And then the whole show is about me trying to find her. And so I make like a police e fit of her face and I put it on <laughs> Twitter. And, uh, and it get, got lots of retweets and then um, it's all about yeah, trying to find her as buddy. It's just quite a quest, turned out to be. I don't, I, I'm just trying to think. I'm not panicking about what I'm going to talk about next year. Already, I'm panicking. Like I'm only like five days into the fringe this year. What am I going to talk about next year? Something will happen. Other events. <sighs> Something's going to happen, guys. Anything? Anyone want to do something crazy? Anyone? Any of any of the people in this van? Are you well, I mean, I'd potentially? Like to do something crazy. Are you going to do something crazy? Yeah. Are you potentially the love of my life? Maybe. Next year's show's about you, okay? Just run away now and I'll chase you. <laughs> I'll chase you on social media for six months and then make a show about it. Maybe you should just continually just chase people on social media yeah. for the rest of your life. I think it's going to be that point where I, I'm going to be still doing these... Imagine if I was like 80 and doing these shows and it was just like really creepy. <laughs> Um, we recently had uh, Ian Sterling in the back of our van. Yeah, saw his video. Saw his video, little poking his little... Uh, poking his little stick into my business. So it's just going to be me saying, I hate Joel Dormer. I hate Joel Dormer. I hate Joel Dormer. No. He's not a bummer. I saw him last night, we did a gig together. It was very funny indeed. Very funny. He's a nice... He's a nice guy. I know he doesn't mean it, but... Um, uh, I hate Ian Sterling. I hate Ian Sterling. I hate Ian Sterling. I hate Ian Sterling. I hate you, Ian Sterling. I hate you so bad. This is a proper feud now. You realise you've started something, yeah? Well, I'm gonna finish it right here, right now, in the van. Ian Sterling. What the hell have you got an extra I in your in Ian? You idiot. What does that I stand for, idiot? Stupid idiot. Don't. Idiot, idiot Sterling. That's what, they, that's what you should be called. Idiots, idiot stupid. That's what you should be called. Idiot stupid. Yeah. How do you like them apples? Idiot stupid. <laughs> I think that's that's him nailed. I pretty much smashed it. Yeah. I mean, be afraid. Be afraid, idiot stupid. <laughs> I'm coming for you.